Good day, boys and girls. Welcome back. Miss Brittany is here for another fabulous video, and this is good for people of all ages. So stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have to make sure everybody knows my secret before I tell you what we're talking about today. So do you remember? Boys and girls, did you know that you are a super hero and that superheroes have super powers? That's right. So let's go ahead and do our superpower motto before we get into our work. So all you have to do is point and repeat after me. We're going to find our brain. I control how I th th think. Good job. Find your mouth. I control what I s s say. Excellent. Next, we find our heart. I control how I th th feel. Wonderful. And our last one, you put your hands up in the air. I control what I d d do. Wonderful. So today we're learning about another special way to help our bodies feel better, especially our brain. Because sometimes our feelings like to run away without us. So this is a technique that can help our brain and our body have a stronger connection. And you don't need any special tools to do it. That's why it's one of my favorites. The name of this technique is the five four, three, two, one technique. It's something called a grounding technique, which helps, like I said, strengthen the connection between your brain and your body and kind of bring you back to ground you. Kind of like you're sitting on the ground, you know it's there. This helps your brain get better, get in better control and helps those feelings kind of calm down a little bit. If your brain is feeling like it's kind of messy, like a messy room, this is a technique that kind of helps you feel like maybe it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit more organized, which helps you feel more in control. So like I said, you don't need any special tools. All you need is your body. So I'm gonna walk you through it. So all you're gonna need are your five senses, sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. So Miss Brittany is going to be describing what her senses are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. So your answers may be different when you do it and that's okay. So I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to see how it works. So first we're going to start with five. This is five things that you see. So I see a lamp, I see a pillow on my couch, I see my couch, I see a little flower dancing in my window, and I see another pillow right there. So that was five. Next we go to four. Four things that we can feel. And I'm not talking about feelings in our heart, I'm talking about feelings that we feel in our skin or in our body. So it may be how your clothes feel on your skin. It may be the air around you. Is it hot? Is it cold? It might be whatever you're sitting on. Is it comfortable? Is it soft? Is it hard? It might be, do you have any pain in your body? Like, is your knee hurting? Do you have a scrape? Things like that. So we're gonna do four things that we feel. So I feel my hair tickling me right here. I feel that my sweater is soft. Oh, that sounded too, sorry. I'm sitting on the carpet and the carpet is very firm. And then lastly, I feel there is a little pain in my knee because I'm sitting crisscross and my knees are not used to that. So that was four things that I felt. Now we go to three. This is gonna be three things that we hear. So, I hear a car outside, I hear my clock ticking, and I hear 
this little flower dancing in the window. Next is two. What are two things that you smell? So, I smell the spray that I sprayed in my room and I smell soap on my sweater. So that was two things. And the last one, which is one, is tell me one thing that you taste. So the one thing that I taste is what I drink for breakfast. So it's something called green tea latte. And that's what I taste in my mouth. And that's it. So don't need any special tools, but yourself. And remember it's called five, four, three, two, one. So when you do it, I want you to ask yourself, or maybe mom and dad, you can ask them. When you are naming all those things that your senses felt, saw, smelled, tasted, were you able to think about anything else? Were you able to think about worries or sadness or anger? I couldn't. I wonder if it's the same for you. Because if you're doing this technique correctly, all you're gonna be thinking about are the five, four, three, two, one, and not anything else. And this helps your brain, like I said, get in more control and have a stronger connection to your body and feel more grounded, more organized. So I hope you enjoyed this technique with me today. And thank you for following me and enjoying my videos. So I hope you have a wonderful day.